near Palm Springs, where Frank Sinatra is buried, and at the same cemetery where Sonny Bono is laid to rest, you will find this monument. It is a memorial to gays and lesbians who have died serving in the military. When I see veterans come from the Vietnam War with Purple Hearts, and they stand there and they talk about how their buddies died in Vietnam and they knew they were gay, then, then I get a tear in my eye because I know that we're remembering people that, uh, that served their country. The cemetery near Palm Springs is certainly famous for the people who are buried here, but it also has significance because of a monument that's unlike any other in the country. Tom Swan led the battle to have this memorial built. It was recognized by former California Governor Gray Davis, but the victory followed many difficult years. But after I told him I was gay, things changed. During the 70s, as a Marine, Tom Swan rose to the rank of sergeant. Then in the Naval Air Reserve, he became an E-6, and he admitted he was gay. His discharge from the service led to a life of activism, and this memorial is one of his accomplishments. And they have uh, ceremonies there every Veterans Day and every Memorial Day. So the conservatives that don't like gays walk by it and... Uh, and see it. The monument is approaching an anniversary. It was dedicated on May 27, 2001. The visitors come, the tourists, they look, they want to know where Frank Sinatra is buried first, and the second question they ask, where's the Gay Baroness Memorial? And then Sonny Bono is the third most asked question. Now, along with the monuments honoring other groups, there is a tribute to LGBT service people who have honored their country with their lives. In Cathedral City, Craig Figner for CBS News on Logo.